where is the real estate market right now since the interest rates have gone up so much since the spring? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Linda Hafner, top producing realtor at ERA Key Realty in Central Massachusetts. Let's get into it. I'm going to give you statistics for all of Massachusetts and for Central Mass. Central Mass tends to have some of the lowest home prices, especially in relation to Boston. I'm talking 250,000 difference in median price. So it's definitely worth checking us out. Everywhere you go, I know you had to have heard all these predictions of a possible market crash and it has to happen. Do I believe that? I don't. I'm in the field day to day and I see the buyer activity and even though interest rates have gone from like 3.2 all the way up to where we are now at 7% interest, I'm still seeing multiple offers on properties. Not 20 and 30 offers, but you know, two, three sometimes, the buyer demand is still there. And that is the driving force right now in the real estate market. There are still a good amount of buyers out there and not enough houses to meet that demand. We're gonna take a look at September of 2022, what the data is for the homes that closed in September. Now, try to remember, anything that closed in September actually sold 45 days earlier, which means mid-July. So that typically is a slower period of time for sales because people are on vacation. So keep that in mind with this market data. So take a look at this information here from the Mass Association of Realtors. In the state of Massachusetts, the number of homes that closed were 4,587. You can see that under closed sales right here. There was a decrease in this September of 2022 versus September of 2021 by 15.6%. When you consider the fact that from March through July, there were two to three point increase in interest rate, it's pretty significant that there was only a decrease year over year of only 15.6%. That's pretty minor considering the market is still fairly strong. Median sales price in all of Massachusetts, 570,000. So that sales price is still up by 8.6%. Part of the reason why some of these closed sales might be lower is because if you notice the homes for sale is also 22% less than it was last year. The number of new listings is also down this September in comparison to last September. There's 16.6% fewer single family homes available on the market for buyers, leading to a, with a total of 5,332. As useful as these numbers are, the important part is to interpret the data. The reason why home prices are still up 8.6% over last year is because the inventory is still low in relation to the number of buyers who want to buy a home but the affordability is making it difficult for them. That is one of the key takeaways from all of this information. The Federal Reserve is still talking about possible interest rate increases because all they care about is lowering inflation. They don't care about the housing market. When people ask me if now is a good time to buy, there are some benefits of buying right now. One, yes, the interest rate is higher, but it's going to go even higher. So waiting is not really the best of ideas because you don't know how high the rate is actually going to go. In 1981, the rates were in 16% at the very highest. It's not like it couldn't happen. If interest rates do come down, guess what? All the home buyers who are not able to buy right now are gonna hop back into the market and we're gonna be back into a competitive market situation. Right now, it's not as competitive. So you're not overpaying for a house. Once you overpay for a house, you can never undo that. But the interest rate is something you can undo. That is an important distinction. Overpaying, you'll never get that money back. With higher interest rates, when they go back down, there at least is a chance for you to refinance or consider avoiding a 30 year fixed mortgage and consider an adjustable rate mortgage until the interest rates go down. It's still a better option than overpaying like people did in the spring by 50 and 80 and $120,000. I mean, you gotta think it through. Let's talk about the central mass data. Median home price of a single family home in Boston is $740,000. Median home price in central mass 499,000. The lowest price home in Central Mass was sold for 95,000 in the town of Southbridge. 
the highest price house sold in September in Central Mass in the town of Southboro for $2,450,000. In Central Mass, there were 374 listings. And the average days on market were 63. However, the days on market are not as important as days to the offer because once you have an accepted offer, really the house isn't available. The average number of days it took for a house to get an offer accepted in central Massachusetts was 25. In March, that number was only 22. Keep in mind too that a lot of agents would put a house on the market but not allow it to be seen or viewed for a certain number of days, usually at least five, sometimes seven. So these days on the market can be deceiving because the first five or seven days, buyers weren't even allowed to put in an offer. So you can kind of subtract that number right off that 22 in March as far as days to offer. With the rise in interest rates, Agents are allowing houses to be viewed right away. There are fewer buyers, fewer buyer demand for showings, so they're opening up showings right away. They're not preventing offers like they were in the first part of the year. They're trying to encourage as many offers as they can because they know the buyer pool is smaller. The data is not reliable as far as how many days it actually took to get an offer. As a consumer, you don't have access to this insider knowledge. If you are on Instagram or TikTok, please connect with me. I would love to hear from you. Do you think home prices are gonna drop in 2023? Let's talk about that in my next video in two weeks. Check it out. Have a great day.